Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode, so let's get to it. I'm kind of thinking that we're going to get to starting our harvests. I'm actually thinking that we'll be starting our harvest this week. Which means that next week, we should be finishing up the harvest, getting everything completely done and dusted and taken care of. Which means in just maybe two weeks, I'm, I'm thinking possibly just two weeks, we could be moving on to the brand new map and starting the brand new playthrough on the, uh, the, the North Alps, Northwest Alps. I, I can't remember what it's called. I can never remember what it's called. I will eventually remember what it's called. But yes, we will be in just a few weeks starting on the new map. It's not going to be very long at all now. Um, I will, if I can, play around with the New Holland Baler. And we will set that one just so that we can do a final little test with it before we leave to see what happens when we tweak it down to one litre per bale and, and have a little little bit of a, a mess around with it like that, just for a bit of fun. And that'll sort of be the last thing I do. I will upload the save game file to this game uh, to the mod-network, which is the website. It's, it's a fairly new one that has come up. And I really like it because they do direct links for everything. They don't send you to a third-party downloader. They just do direct links. I put the time-lapse map into that one. It's available there for upload. And uh, it's, it's worked absolutely brilliant. So that's the one that I will be using for any save game uploads. It does a direct link. Um, there's, there's no third-party downloaders. You don't have to worry about it installing a load of... Uh, malware onto your PC because it does a direct, it's just whatever file that you upload and that's the one that it'll use. Uh, it, it's straightforward, it's simple, it's easy and there shouldn't be any issues for any of you. At least I hope. That's that's the plan anyway. But that's where I will go and put it. As long as I can, so as long as there's no like issues or hang-ups or hiccups or any other problems whatsoever, that is the one we will use. And I've just realised, yeah, I have just missed a little tiny bit, but honestly, the grand scheme of things, the, the grand scale of everything that we're doing. Um, now, what is it doing over here? Oh, he's gone over to this field. He's gone over there, but now he's skipping out on this little bit down here. He is, however, putting fertiliser all the way up across there. That's a good thing. Yeah, I've just realised that I've got it on euros. We shouldn't have this on euros. We should have this on dollars. That's that bit taken care of. We will come up and plant this. And then I think that's everything planted on these fields. At least I'm hoping that's everything planted. I'm going to keep the planters and I'm going to put them there with the big buds and everything. And I'm going to leave them on the sidelines. Everything is leased. They, all, they are all leased at the moment. And... I'm quite happy with it like that, just all being leased and we're, we're using it uh, like that because machinery of this scale, yeah, we, we just don't have the money to go buying it. But also, I'm going to keep it there and keep it leased so that people who come along to use the save game will be able to go along and use these machines afterwards. Um, I will, although it makes it easier with a save game file if you don't have to, like, double-check that you've got a whole load of mods installed. So, I might just return anything that is actually classed as a mod and only keep the things that are base game. I think the big buds themselves are mods, in which case we'll return those. And then, that's just to make it easy for your save game file when you take the game and you can, uh, the take the save game and you can carry on with it if you want to. I know that some of you do like to do that. Some of you like to carry on playing from where I've left off on a series. Uh, many of you obviously are not going to be fussed about it in the slightest. That's absolutely fine. Um, but I do get enough requests for the save game file that it is definitely something that I like to make sure that I do. And I've used other sites in the past for uploading them. Um, I was using FSUK. There are a few of the older ones on FSUK. They're still there as far as I know. Um, but 
a little while ago when I was trying to upload some, I was having trouble. I would like it, I couldn't get the files to upload properly for some reason. I don't know exactly why. I'm not sure what was going on with it, but there was some issues that was causing me not to be able to upload. So I started using Mod Hoster for it, but I've been having a bit of trouble with Mod Hoster on and off over the last 12 months, and I know that some other people have as well. So for that reason, I decided not to use Mod Hoster now. Now that I've got this other one that I can go and use, the um, Mod Dash Network. Um, because, uh, yeah, I, I, if I'm having some trouble with it, and I know that other people are having trouble with it, I don't want to like be trying to send you off to a website that some of you are going to have difficulties accessing. Uh, that's not my plan at all. I don't really want to be doing that. So I will stick with uh, the mod dash network, I'm hoping, and we'll see if that works instead. Now, what exactly are you doing over there, tractor? I'm going to bring this one up along here, and we're going to stop there, like that. And then I'm going to go through our machinery like this until I get to this one. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what it's doing. But we've only got a little bit over here. I, I think I know what it was doing. It, it, it's kind of... It, it's trying. It's, it, it, it is trying. You know, there's, there's definite points for trying right there. But uh, honestly, it's... It's not trying quite hard enough, I don't think. I'm just going to manually fill out this little bit right here. And then we can set the hired help going again down the bottom side. And then, uh, it's not really a lot else that we want to be doing at this point. Other than just kind of making sure that everything grows quickly and well. I suppose we could start getting the cotton harvesters all lined up and, and get them ready. Although, I've got to, yeah, let me just do that. Um... I got a feeling that, uh, yeah, I haven't actually gotten um, Stevie's Cotton Harvester ready. And I was thinking of using that one, but I've been also thinking about not using the Stevie Mods Cotton Harvester, just using a regular one. If we want to do some more cotton on the next map, then we can. We could go and do that. Uh, but I'm sort of thinking if we use these, we could get... I want six of them. I want six of these running up and down the field. And I think we're going to have a hard enough time keeping up with six of these machines uh, just on their own without having to worry about using the Stevie ones, which go that much faster. And also the Stevie ones, they do have uh, increased capacity on the bales as well, I believe. And I didn't really want to do that. I didn't really want to start having bales that are considerably larger than what the standard bales are. Just because I've thought, you know, it's, it's going to be... We've never done cotton before, so it's, we're, we're going to have enough fun just sort of doing everything with regular size stuff rather than worrying about having bales that are super large. Get that little bit right there. Find a little strip. Then I can move over onto the big field and we'll carry on with that. It should have done everything up to the top end. We've also got a little tiny strip right up by the top end of field 8. However, that's not one that I really need to worry about because... Like, these other two fields, they've got to have a second coat of fertilizer. That's something that they have actually got to have. I'm going to put the hired help going on there. Uh, probably moved over a little bit too far. See, we've got, like, little strips and stripes and stuff all over the place on this field. Just because of how it was when we joined the two together. Generally speaking, it's going to be alright. But we've got a double layer over that bit. And that means that that bit there is not going to require any more fertilizer. I can do a pass across there. After we've done a growth stage on the crop. But I want to get a layer of fertilizer all onto this side. Before we do like fast forward any time. Now while we're watching this. Because I've either just got to watch this. We've got to find something else to do. Um, or like just pack it up all together. And not do the fertilizer. But I would like to do that. I would like to have fertilizer on this. I'd like to get a maximum yield from the cotton if we can. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to the garage like this. I'm going to go to the least items to start with. The big buds themselves are actually mods. Uh, so is the lizard flat deck and the truck that we're using. 
The combine is not. Those aren't. The Cramper trailers, those are Stevie Mod trailers. Uh, the Flexi Coil and the Seed Hawk, those are not. Neither is the Great Plains one. I thought that they were mods. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to return all mods. Was certainly the least ones to start with. So we got the Big Buds. We're not going to be using Big Bud anymore. That is it for Big Bud. That's, so those are going to go. So we will, we will return all of the Big Buds right now. We'll do that. Okay. And I'll go with the next one as well. Yes. And our truck. I'll return that one at the very end, I think. Let me just uh, go and have a look here. Oh, yeah. We had a tree in the way just for that bit. So, I'll leave that. This one will come on round. And go up there. We're going to have a little bit more of a, um issue with it doing the turning. It, sh it should be able to turn all right on its own without any problems. It does a lot better with trees than it does with cars. We know that much. Right, you carry on again. You do you're doing a wonderful job. We're, we'll, we've got absolute, complete, total faith in you. That's why we're watching you like a hawk. To make sure that you... <laughs> <laughs> everything that you're supposed to do uh the trailers is there anything i'm going to want to do with those trailers before we send them back i don't think there is but just in case well i definitely don't need the brox all in one that's one that we can return i can get rid of that one yes fairly well and the timber runner as well that one can go i'm not going to want that one the two dollies i'll keep hold of those for a minute so that's the least ones. And then owned items. I've got the Mahindra right there. I'll return that one before the end of the series. We'll sell that one. And up through here, we've got the little baler. We're going to play around with that one right on the final episode. And we got a, well, and of course, we've got the egg pallets. Now, those I'm not getting rid of. This one I will. This, this uh, X tool will... Uh, Really, we'll sell that one. I'm going to sell that one direct from where it is right now. And that one as well. Sell. Okay, that's gone. All of the egg pallets, I will leave them in. If you want to take over this save game mod, you are more... Uh, save game file, you're more than welcome. You don't have to use the all the egg pallets that we've got. But I would strongly recommend that you do. Because it certainly does make life a lot easier. So all of those are mods. And then I've got these placeables as well. Those I will also leave. And the workshop, the toolbox one. The stone walls. I think that is all from one single mod. I think they are. But those I could actually get rid of. Well, I don't know. I'll just say... I, th I think we'll keep those. I think we can keep all of those. There's no others that we want to keep. Uh, keep that one. It just makes it easier. The Mahindra I will get rid of because not everybody's got that mod available. And then we go into the least items in here. And there's the two Stevie ones right there. And then there's those two I shall get rid of. And that one and that one. And that will make it nice and easy for everybody to come along and use the save game file towards the end of... Um, well, when, when you want to take over and you'd like to have a go with it. Now, this is still going to take a while. Seriously considering getting another spreader and loading that up with fertilizer and working on the other side. Because we've still got quite a lot to do. So I think we will do that. We'll go back down to our tractor down here. We don't have as many tractors to cycle through now. We will go and take our mowers and we will go and we'll put the mowers back in the shed where they belong. And we will run this tractor up to the dealership. And we will get ourselves a second um, machine, a second fertilizer spreader. I suppose I could try and do it with that one. I wouldn't be out of the way to go and use that fertilizer spreader. Yeah, but we, we could try that. I mean, I know that it doesn't take anywhere near as much as the other one does. But honestly i think it would still be worth it and you've got to remember to switch over we can lower that one down and can do it but these back ones you cannot lower them down you've just got to drop them just as they are which i've always disliked this about the folding mowers it never lets you um uh, unhitch the folded mowers in the folded configuration it never lets you do that you've got to drop them like that 
And I've never been particularly fond of the fact that we do have to do that. Let's go over and grab that front weight right there. Like that. And that dolly there is one that we don't need anymore. So we'll take that one and we'll return this one. I'm going to I'm gonna drag it back and I'm going to sell it like this. Because it's a little bit easier that like I, I'll end up selling the wrong one. We've got another one over there, and yeah, I don't really want to get the two mixed up. I'll run this one down here and dump it off in this bit right here. We don't have a fertilizer buying point up at this side, but I reckon I could actually ju I'll, I'll just buy some fertilizer straight from here, I think. That might actually work. Let's jump out and... Oops, steady. Return that one a second. Uh, there we go. Return. Yes. Okay. And I'll just go straight in here a minute. We go there and go to fertilizer technology. Now, I've got one of those. So I've got the small one. So if I go with the big one right here, and we've got an extension right there that puts us all the way up to 80, almost 19,000 liters of fertilizer. We've got spreading discs on the back that give us a 12 meter spread, 6 meter spreading unit. Gives us an 18 meter spread, which is what we're going to use. And then you've got standard or wide tires right there. I'm going to go with just the standard tires on this. And we're going to lease this one, 3,800. And then I'm going to go and buy nine pallets of fertilizer. I think it's 1,000 liters per pallet, isn't it? Solid fertilizer. It is 1,000 liters. So I want to buy that one right there. There's one. And two. Okay, I lost count. Let's go up and have a look. I think I bought nine. I could have bought 12. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I bought ten. That's all right. We'll have we'll have one left over. Um, no, actually, I, I was thinking nine because of... Um, yeah, I was, I was thinking 9 because I was thinking it was 2,000 litres per pallet. But it's not, is it? So I could actually go... I can get a couple more. I bought 10. So we can go and buy another 8. There's 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5. Well, let's just do 5 because I'm down to 21,000 and I could very well need some more money soon. So now I can run along this line and start filling them all up. And this is actually going to take a minute or two. By the time I get up there with the fertilizer spreader and all the fertilizer, uh, the other chap's going to have finished all the work. He's going to have done the whole lot. Shoveling all of these in by hand is actually a very, very tiring job. Right? I, I hope you appreciate just how much work is going into doing this job. It's absolutely exhausting having to shovel the stuff. This is a ton of fertilizer at a time. And I am manually shoveling this in from each of the pallets right up over the top of the machine and unloading them up. And yes, I do actually have a forklift right there that I could be using to do the job, but I'm choosing not to. I'm being stubborn. I can do this by hand. I can do any job that a machine can do. I absolutely can. I'm, I'm positive. I'm, I'm, I'm certain that I can do any job that a machine can do, and maybe even better than that. Right, we now need to go up to the fields. Hang on. Uh, there we go. We need, we need to have our beacons on. I have been told that here in the US I'm supposed to have um, hazard lights on as well. Is this true for the whole of the US? Or is this just in certain parts of the US that you're supposed to have your, your beacons on? Your, 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 uh, your flashing beacons. Slow, slow vehicle beacons like that. Um, but you're also supposed to put your hazard lights on as well. Is that for the whole of the US or is that just in certain states? I've never been able to quite figure out if that's everywhere or if it's just in certain places. I really have got no clue. Despite my absolute confusion as to whether or not uh, that, that it was needed or anything like that. Um, of these, uh, these beacons, this, this whole thing with the beacons, I've, I've, I've kept them on all the way up through here, not the beacons, the, the, the hazard lights. 
I've kept them on all the way through. I brought that one up there. So then I will switch over to you and ask you to stop being quite so daft. So I'll bring you over here. Start you running down through there. I can move you over just a little bit like that, I'd have thought. And turn those beacons off and then start you up and away you go. Right, so there's that one. Oops, there we go. And this one here, I'm going to manually drive round the edge of the field on this side just to start off with, like this. And... Yep, it's always important to make sure that you get plenty of fertilizer right onto the railway as well so that they get plenty of plants growing up through so that the people that work on the railway lines have got plenty of work to keep all of those weeds down that you've generously fertilized for them. Because if you didn't, the weeds wouldn't come up and then some of these people would find themselves unemployed. So I'm actually doing the world a favor by spreading fertilizer onto the railway tracks. I'm keeping people employed. This is, this is how kind and generous I am. By It's a selfless act. That's what it is. I'm spending out my own money on fertilizer so that I can, keep, I can make sure that other people stay employed, keep their jobs. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just nice like that. What can I say? I'm, I'm just, just that sort of guy. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm not really sure why we've got all these weird shapes with the bits that have already been fertilized. You look up through there. It does seem a little bit sort of strange, the, the edges of which bits have been fertilized and which bits haven't. And I can never, I'm never quite sure of it. When, when you're going round and you're doing jobs like this, sort of, it's, it's only because it's on a new field and you had some grass underneath it already. And that, the grass that was underneath it always seems to, I don't, it, it never seems to quite follow the same rules all the way round. You sort of think, well, you, mu you, you do it with grass that was already there. In theory, it should just go right the way across all of the grass and the, the, there shouldn't be any problems anywhere at all. And yeah, I'm, I'm never quite sure what's going on with it. I'm going to stop right there a minute. And I'm going to let that tractor turn round and head back across the field all the way down there and then we can head back we can carry on across the top we will also run over and do the little tiny bit at the top of field eight way over there next to the um the cell point over there once that's done then this one will just about be done and it will actually be time to start fast forwarding time which should be very very awesome i'd be very pleased about that Finally, finally get all of this planting and fertilizing done, and then we can move on with something different. Ooh, question. On our next map, um, do you think that we should be doing the lime and the weeds and uh, plowing and all of that all the time? Do you think we should start off with it like that, or do you think we should just kind of... Ignore that and focus on the planting and harvesting. We will have to do the fertilizer. You're not actually able to turn the fertilizer off. Or even turn it so that you've only got one application of fertilizer in this version of the game. Uh, I know the last one, it was really good. You could change it. You had three applications of fertilizer. You could choose to have either three or one. Whereas this one, we've got no choice. You've got to have two lots of fertilizer. That one you can't skip. But we can switch off plowing and lime and weeds. We can turn all those three off. And we could do that on the next map. We could actually turn all three of them off right from the start. I very much doubt that very many of you are going to want me to turn them all off from the start, but I do strongly suspect that uh, you may want me to sort of switch it over partway through the series. Um, we'll sort of do a little bit to start with so that we've got to make sure that we've got the machinery and everything there in, um, to be able to start off with, and, and th then we kind of move on from that point. Um, the other thing that we were considering... Um, was how much money I start off with. I'm still sort of undecided on that. I am going to start with a fair bit of money. We've got a big farm. We're moving to a big farm. We're going to take most of the money that we've got here. We're going to buy a load of land, and we're going to get some. We're going to start with um, mid. Well, not even mid range. We're going to start with big machinery. We're, that's the idea of the next map is big machinery. So we're not going to be building up to the big machinery. 
we're going to be starting with the big stuff. Um, but not like the super big. I, I, I sort of consider the large tractors. Uh, I'm just going to run up to this end a minute and... Right, it's here that I want to get to. I'm hoping that that tractor down there is able to turn around and do his job properly. Right, uh, we want to have a look in the tractors right here. Small machinery and stuff that is pulled by those. Medium tractors and stuff that's pulled by those. And then you've got this, which I actually divided into two categories. You've got the large tractors right here. Um, through to the Fent Vario right there, which is 396 horsepower. You can go all the way up to 500 horsepower with that tractor. That's pushing in for an extra large. This one over here, right there, uh, engine setup, that goes up to 420. So that's actually, like, smaller, this, the, the track stuff. So you've got a couple of these high-end ones. Anything 500 horse, well, I would say pretty much anything 400 horsepower plus. Because, I mean, you look back down through here. Engine setup, the biggest one, is 350 horsepower. So, you know, I'd class that as a large tractor. Then you go up to the T8. That one is there at 320. It goes up to 435. That's pushing um, the, the uh, extra large tractor. Definitely these at this end, right over here. We're starting at 492 horsepower, 460. And the Challenger, we've got the Fent here, 4925365525. And then we've got the, the modded ones. I probably won't be using the Big Bud in the next series. Uh, but you, you get the idea. Those are classes extra large tractors. And so like the Case Quad Track and... The T9 there, I won't be starting off with those. Those I would class as extra large tractors. So we're not going to be starting with the 550 horsepower tractors. We will start off with uh, more this end of the series of the large tractors. And then we can work our way up to the really super big stuff. Um, that'll still give us targets to work towards whilst at the same time still... Um, using big machinery and big things on the map and i, I kind of feel that that's like a happy medium if if we do that if, if we, we'll be able to get across both of them right there if we can do that now i'm hoping well that tractor over there he should in theory turn around and finish up that last stripe up through there whereas this one over this side should in theory actually i've yeah, he's, he's, he's going to try and turn around and go back the other way. I don't want him to do that. So what we'll do this one is we will turn this one around here. We will drive over this side. We've not even used 1,000 litres on this one. I put 15,000 litres into this one, and we haven't even used 1,000 yet. And I will go there and let this one just finish that bit off by going up through there. And then the other one should go to the railway down there. Turn round and go and finish off that last stripe up through the field. And then we've done all the fertilizer. Well, we've done one coat of fertilizer. That's all we have done. It's just a single coat. Uh, we've still got to do that huge, great big field again. And we've got to do this field down here again before it is ready to actually harvest. And we've got to start getting some machines up here ready for doing the harvest of the uh, cotton. And in order to do that, we're going to have to lease some cotton harvesters. Right, I don't know where you think you're going. But while you're waiting a moment, we're going to go there. Cotton technology, I'm going to give $25,000 to lease one cotton harvester. I would like to lease several cotton harvesters. Not just one, but a number of cotton harvesters is what I would like to lease in order to be able to do this. I'll let that one carry. Well, there we go, folks. I'm afraid that's it. We've run out of time, which means that we need to head on home. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.